Now that Pfizer and Moderna rolled out their vaccines, thousands of Connecticut healthcare workers have already been vaccinated and more people will be on their way to get the shot. But a big change to an age group has some adults now missing the mark. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller has more on who has to wait longer than they expected and why. Courtney. Well, Aaron, those ages 65 to 74 with high risk medical conditions will have to wait. They won't be able to get the COVID-19 shot for at least another four to five months. They were actually slated to get the shot at uh, the end of January, but the CDC changed those guidelines. First, it was Pfizer, then Moderna, and both companies delivered their vaccines to Connecticut. We were there when frontline healthcare workers rolled up their sleeves to be some of the very first people to get vaccinated. I feel blessed. Healthcare workers are part of what's being called phase 1A. For phase 1B, this is who is up next. First responders, teachers, child care workers, food and agricultural employees, correctional staff, public transit, postal workers, grocery store staff, manufacturing, and those 75 or older. Governor Ned Lamont wants everyone in this phase to have the ability to get their first shot by the end of January. The chief of the Rocky Hill Ambulance Association says most of his crew is interested in taking the vaccine. One of my chiefs already got vaccinated Friday, and um, like I said, the hospitals, within the next week or two, we should be all getting the vaccinations. Originally, adults 65 to 75 were supposed to be part of phase 1B, but guidance from the CDC pushed the group to phase 1C. Also in 1C, other essential workers and those with high-risk medical conditions between the ages of 16 and 64. This group won't get the shot until late spring. I, I lean towards following the, the guidance of the CDC. Uh, we have our own advisory group uh, made up of an incredibly diverse group of folks who know what they're doing. Help me um, advise on that. Look, and there's some thinking you've got. A, essential workers on the front line. You want them to be able to take care of work and be able to do that safely. Folks, as you pointed out, uh, either older, much older, 75, or pre-existing conditions that are most at risk. A, we're doing everything we can to keep them alive, and hopefully they don't suffer complications that would congest our hospitals. So I think so far the CDC guidance makes some sense to me. And the governor also saying by the end of January, everyone in that first group, that's 1A, will likely get both of their COVID-19 shots. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom tonight. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Courtney